Billy Summers will be along with a 99-second update after Elton John at 99.3 WLQE. Ninety-nine point three. <laughs> Is it really that funny? Oh yes, it was. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man. And you man. said I wasn't funny. <laughs> Should we clue them in on the little joke? No, just keep laughing. <laughs> Elise needed some scissors <laughs> to cut a perforated piece of paper. That wasn't what it was. <laughs> Yes, you did. Now, come on, tell the truth. He's just being stupid. <laughs> anyway, what were you going to tell me about? Oh, boy, what a great day, isn't it? It is. We should be down at the beach right now. I haven't been outside all day. Well, take my word for it. It feels like California six weeks ago or Florida ten days does ago in your really? case. It really does. Oh. Hey, we're talking 70s today. Do you think that we have officially given winter the boot? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I didn't re call for a cough there. That called for an answer. Wait a second. I need a pen. Boy, aren't we organized <laughs> we're, here? We're very unorganized. <laughs> well, listen. It's... I see that you didn't have my temperatures written down. Yeah, that's because uh, it's just so high that uh, the numbers don't go that high anymore. 55 <laughs> degrees? <laughs> Wait a Is well, that as high as we get? <laughs> it's August. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to continue. Too much hilarity here today, my friends. Must be the heat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave the room. <laughs> you better Carry come back on. soon. You have your sports to do. It's 55 degrees in Atlantic City at 348. Leave the room. <laughs> I'm Elise Summers with this 99 second update. The nation's highest court is making it tougher for states to finance toxic waste cleanup. The Supreme Court today ruled that the federal Superfund program preempts, at least partially, state efforts to impose taxes on businesses for cleaning up hazardous wastes. Environmental groups and the pesticide industry say they've agreed on legislation to speed up the Environmental Protection Agency's regulatory process. They say it would make the agency review pesticides four times faster than it's doing now and would make the industry help pay for the review through user fees. A tanker truck is overturned in Springfield, Alabama, spilling 2,000 gallons of a toxic and highly volatile chemical. Officials say the spill has injured 18 people and forced the town's evacuation. Sources say some of the remains of the Challenger astronauts have been recovered from the ocean floor where the shuttle crew's compartment was found, but NASA won't comment officially until the recovery operation is finished. Atlanta County officials continue the investigation into the weekend murder at Caesars Hotel Casino. Authorities say the victim identified as 57-year-old Beatrice McDougall of Schenectady, New York, was strangled to death but had been stabbed twice as well. Political and business leaders from across the nation are in New York City today for the funeral of former Senator Jacob Javits. The 81-year-old New York Republican died Friday of Lou Gehrig's disease. He was respected by Democrats and Republicans alike for his contributions to civil rights and foreign affairs. Lucky weather and sports after this. Are you concerned about your hair loss product? <laughs> Lucky Sports at 351. You know, at least it's a good thing we're being really professional today. <laughs> I'm always professional. <laughs> well, let's do the sports. Philadelphia third baseman Mike Schmidt will be examined by a doctor today for his lingering backache. The Philly slugger is expected to miss at least a week until the soreness goes away, according to manager John Felsky. The Veterans Committee meets today in Tampa to consider additional candidates for baseball's Hall of Fame among them former Phillies great Richie Ashburn. All the local teams off tonight in both the NBA and the NHL. Lucky weather for Atlantic City and Margate. Fair skies this evening, partly cloudy tonight with a chance of showers or thunderstorms below 45 degrees. Sunny tomorrow, a high 65. At 351, 55 degrees in Atlantic City, 71 degrees in Riga. I'm Elise Summers for WLQE 99.3 FM WLQE.